Okay, so we're going to show you how to install your key onto your keyboard. Start out by looking at the metal pieces that are on your keyboard. You can see that at the top corners there's two metal pieces and they form a hole in the middle so we can fit pins into. And at the bottom corner there's two metal pieces as well but they don't have holes. They're more like hooks. So at uh, those are just going to wrap around the pins for these pieces here. They're not really going to... Um, we're not going to insert the pins into them because they're most they're hooks not holes like the top ones so right now what you have to do is make sure those um, metal plates are straight up vertically because sometimes they can be pushed down or flattened out and uh, maybe even broken so we're going to determine the position for this large piece first and insert it onto the keyboard you can see at the top corners it has two pins and the bottom corners it has two pins and in the middle of the vertical bars there's holes those holes are going to accept the pins from the next plastic piece so they can click together now make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like this because it looks the same but it won't fit the same how we determine the position for that is uh, feel the top, the whole vertical bar here. If you feel there's a gap close to the top, um, that gap faces the keyboard. Uh, on the other side, it's supposed to be smooth. So, smooth part part faces away from the keyboard, and the gap faces the keyboard. Now, this is how the key's gonna look like once it's flat. So we're gonna make it go vertically like this and insert the pins into the holes on the uh, top metal pieces. Once they're in, just push the whole piece flat like that. Then you get your next piece. You can see that at the top it has two pins, the top corners. In the middle, or close to the middle, it has two more pins, then two more pins at the very bottom. Make sure not to put this whole piece upside down as well by feeling or carefully looking uh, for that gap. You can see that gap right there close to the top. So that gap faces the keyboard and on top is supposed to be smooth. Now what you have to do is pick up slightly on the bottom part of the part that we already put on the keyboard which is the large piece. We have to slide the small piece all the way through in order for the pins, the bottom pins of the small piece to go into the hooks. So once you have both hooks, I mean both pins into those hooks, all you really have to do is hold that part down and push down on the entire piece so that everything is flat. Once everything is flat, you get your uh, key which is this you put it right in the center and you push down evenly on all four sides till you hear a few clicks 